If you want to add a clock or a calendar into your app, then this is the tutorial for you. Hello, and in this tutorial, what we're going to do is take a look at the time picker and the date picker, and we're going to figure out how they work and how to use them in our app. So as per usual, what we'll do is get started with our um, UI, our user interface. So in the uh, first palette here, we're going to drag and drop in a date picker and a time picker. What do they look like straight out of the box? Well, let's click on them. The uh, date picker gives us this calendar, and this time picker clicking on it gives us a clock. Uh, if you want to help the channel out, what you can do is click on that subscribe button there. And if you want to get notifications for future videos, don't forget to click on the bell. So back in our app, what we're ready to do now is choose or start experimenting with the blocks. So in the time picker, we've got an after date set event. And that's what happens after the user picks one of those days in the calendar. What we'll do then is we'll display the date in the screen title. And there's a whole load of different properties here. We've got to choose which one we want. So let's just try it out for a moment. Let's try this instant and see what it shows us. Uh, this is a really helpful um, component, uh, maybe not for our users. So let's take a look at it. Uh, when we click on the calendar, choose today's date, we get this um, Java return to us here, java.util.gregorian calendar. So it's very, very useful for other components, but it's maybe not the most user friendly thing. Our day component instead, so today is the 28th, gives us the number 28. Okay, great, now we're kind of figuring this out. So presumably then if we click the month, let's go back in and test it out again. Uh, December, of course, being the 12th month. So hopefully we get a 12, there we go. And then the final idea, this was recorded way back in 2017, um, which is probably last year when you're watching this now. And then what we do here is when we test it out, yeah, we've got 2017 there after we pick it. Great, okay. Um, so if, you've like, if you like what you've seen so far, don't forget to click the thumbs up to show your support. Now we've got our head around the date picker. Let's try and do the same thing for the time picker as well. So it's the same idea, we've got an after event. This time it's after the time is set rather than after date is set. Uh, we'll go into our uh, screen one title again, and we've got a whole load of different properties to choose from. So there's that instant again, but we've also got things like hour and minute and so on and so forth. So let's go into screen one. Let's get the screen one title property like this. And then what we can do is choose the hour. So let's have a look. What time is it at the moment? Well, we've got a 24 hour clock here. It says it's 1741 and the hour returns the number 17. Great, so this is just like the date picker. Uh, let's open up the minute then as well. And if we click here, 1742 now, and we just get 42. So what if we want to put some of these things together like the the year, the month, and the day. What about if we want to put together the hour and the minute? What we can do is we can create our own variable. So in the orange block there, we'll create a variable called time. It can be any data type you want. So we'll just use a piece of text for the moment. And speaking of text, we'll go into text here and we're gonna to join together the pieces of information that we want. So the first thing we'll do is we'll put in, uh, not the minute first, because usually it's hour and then the minute, um, if you're thinking about a digital clock. In between the hour and the minute, they usually have a like a colon symbol like that. It's two dots. And if we click on the blue mutator, then what we can do is add in a third string, and that's where we'll put our minute. So this should look like a, a digital time, a 24 hour time, uh, if we display the time variable in screen title. Let's try it out now for ourselves. It's now 1743. Click OK, and that's it displayed. So Really appreciate you watching the video. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below.